he is spending an incredible time, hopefully in a very nice place. So I'm very excited to see his new background. Here we go, as I promised. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Um, you know, I love that you're changing your backgrounds all the time. You know, for me, it's always looking like this. We've been behind the scenes in your usual setup. Now we have a new setup. I love it. Welcome, David. Oh, well, I'm so great grateful to be here with Junior Achievement Worldwide and so excited to George, who won the Junior Achievement Impact Award and with the two-minute drill. So thanks for always having me for a couple minutes. Awesome. So, David, I mean, we've been doing this for... 13 times actually it doesn't feel like but that is amazing but i really want to make sure that for all the new people who just joined us maybe this is the first time they're seeing us here talking can you introduce yourself and really explain why we're doing this here sure i'm david Meltzer. i am a junior achievement alumnus since i've been i think 12 years old and i'm now the chief chancellor of junior achievement university and junior achievement is a big part of my new tv show two minute drill and so we have an impact award winner for the entrepreneur that's going to have the most impact on our world. And Junior Achievement is absolutely an organization that instills that type of beliefs of sustainability, of being somebody who not only makes money, but helps people and has fun. Awesome. Thank We're so incredibly grateful for all your support. You know, you being a J alum, I'm also a J alum, and we're here every single Thursday live, what you mentioned, to present the J Impact Award winners. So we are officially welcoming these incredible entrepreneurs to the JA family, how we call it. But what we also do every Thursday, we have a question from the alumni community. And the question today for you, David, is what is your morning routine? Because people have been following you on social and they saw that you have a very strict schedule and they really want to know the secrets from your morning routine. Well, there's two secrets. One's to have two routines, a normal one and an adaptable one when God laughs at you and screws up your plans. And then two, my tomorrow starts today. So my morning routine starts at 9 p.m. And so what I do is I have an unwinding routine to put my mind, body, and soul in the right position so that I wake up at four o'clock, not at the bottom of the hill, but at the top of the hill so I can plateau and grow. And then I use my calendar and I study it activity I planned, activity I don't have planned, and my sleep for tomorrow so that I get the most productivity, meaning the most value, accessibility, accessibility to others and accessing what I want, and most importantly, gratitude, which allows me to find the light, the love, and the lessons to keep expanding, growing, and accelerating, which is crucial to any entrepreneur, any young junior achiever. So I appreciate, Sarah, so much the opportunity to always be on here and the questions that I've gotten. Thank you so, so much, David. And I'm sure that if season two goes live, you and I will be back live here and introduce the next winners. And so for today, we have um, George on. And then I'm thankful for you for all your time for being on here. And unfortunately, it's the time to kick you off again, David, but we will bring you back. But before we filmed it, thank you. All right, here we go. Connection just broke on my side. This is the beauty of going live. And I'm so excited to introduce you to the last and final JA Impact Award winner for this season, right? We will have more seasons. So while I'm uh, getting him live here, hold on, here we go. I really want to make sure that you guys know that you have the opportunity to be live on season number three. There he is. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. I got to angle this just a little bit better so you can see the goods. There we go. I mean, today, honestly, like you get the grand prize for the best setup, including a cat, the incredible dog, your bike, and all the things. Welcome to the Instagram live show. Hello. Howdy. And uh, thank you for having me on. So I think we want to jump right in because everybody's like, okay, what is going on here? Like, why is there a dog? Why is there a bike? And why does the dog wear some kind of like glasses? So please feel Great. free to tell us who you are. Great. Awesome. Hey, howdy. I'm Georgia Dog Trainer. This is my companion dog, Riley. And we have a prototype Rowdy Hound motorcycle dog kennel mounted on a 2015 BMW. We have a couple other models. I'll talk about that more. <sighs> born of adventure and some mutual separation anxiety 
Riley and I developed and tested several prototypes of the Rowdy Hound over the course of the last three years, including one that I towed a thousand miles across the desert to Colorado for a conference. However, tragedy struck when on the first night there, uh, my unit got professionally stolen with the Rowdy Hound on it. So in the 14 months since that prototype was stolen, Riley and I have used Dave's teachings, relentless optimism, and a little bit of spite to refine and perfect the Rowdy Hound over the course of thousands of miles, hours, and a lot of money. We have designed and 3D printed a full prototype, which you can see here. Developed industry titan partnerships in the form of mounting with Cobra and raised 250K in a pandemic. The ride is no more challenging of that with a human passenger, very stable, very balanced, very nice. Safety is priority number one, which is why every Rowdy Hound unit is American manufactured and made with high grade materials. We got about maybe 75 million dog and motorcycle lovers in the United States. If we can serve 1% of 1% of that, we'll make a massive impact. Dave, I'm hoping to get your mentorship, sponsorship, and to help me build a team as incredible as yours to help a lot of people make a lot of money and have a lot of fun. With your help, Rowdy Hound can make the world a better place through compassionate capitalism and my nonprofit known as Bikers Against Dog Abuse Service Society. I appreciate you, Dave. With 100% profit margin and what you know of me, can you see any reason you wouldn't want to rough it up with Rowdy Hound? Production is ahead of schedule, and my goal is to work with Dave and avoid millions of dollars worth of dummy tax and suffering. Thank you. I mean, honestly, big applause. Right. You know, virtual applause to you. Thank you. Virtual That's applause. An amazing pitch. You know, and obviously, you know, it's not fair because you have a cute dog as well. So everyone's ah, like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh my <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay, you. this is so cool. Thank you so much for sharing this. And mm -hmm. so you won the J Impact Award at the Two Minute Drills show. And yep. for everybody who is watching, you guys, you can apply for the third season. So se season two is already filmed. It will air, I think, anytime in June. But season three will be filmed, you know, over the summer. So you have the chance to apply. And actually, one thing, which is incredible, one entire show will be dedicated only to J alumni. So any of you guys who are watching, any J alum who will get into one of the shows, you can win the grand prize of the show and or the J Impact Award. So, George, we want to know from you all the things behind the scenes. How did you end up on Two Minute Drill? Well... Uh, it started maybe three, four years ago when I met Dave at the Best Self Expo. I had a helmet that just had a furry dog cover. I did not have the dog on the motorcycle yet. I was just training dogs, and he liked it, and he said it was cool, and I told him I couldn't afford him, and he had just gotten a puppy, so I trained his little dog, Coco, and she sat right here on my belly, and I taught her to ride a motorcycle a little bit, and... Uh, yeah, since then, I've done some coaching in exchange for the dog training, and then I uh, really just followed him, listened to a lot of podcasts, and then I've developed a couple businesses with his support, and this is one that I hope to take to the moon and beyond with uh, Dave. And so part of it is he's seen it grow from its infancy and all of that, and then it seemed like a good time because now we have the 3D printed prototype, I have an accurate visual, and we have mm -hmm. the real units real soon here too. So uh I guess I ended up on the show just through a relationship with Dave and, and following what he says and doing it. And honestly, this is so important. Almost every single person I had here live, obviously all of you were J Impact Award winners, but it all started with, uh, you know, connection and like networking. Uh -huh. So yeah. for everybody who's watching, you know, just like write that email, write that DM, connect with yeah. the people. And this is usually how these opportunities come along, right? If people don't know who mm -hmm. you are, like, why would they, you know, call you for something like this? Or why would they give you the opportunity? So thank you so much for sharing this. And I mean, you touched base on some of the things already. Like, where do you want to go in the future with this? Like, what is your big, big vision for the future and the plan? We do not have time for the big, big vision, but it's pretty <laughs> cool. And I'm excited to share it with y'all. Uh, for the immediate future, what we're going to do is actually this week, I have my molds, which is, you know, the big hard part of producing the kennels, mm -hmm. uh, back and viable. So we'll be doing a couple test runs and then uh, producing the real units. I'll start to distribute them and create a little YouTube series of how to train a dog. It's pretty easy to ride a motorcycle. You mm -hmm. just got to do about two weeks of breakfast and dinner on the motorcycle and then you start moving a little bit more and uh, they take to it so build out video course content help people get real units out there 
And uh, right now we have Harley, BMW, Indian. We, of course, intend to expand that. Uh, quads, trikes, three-wheelers, mm -hmm. and really just help a lot of people share the love of riding on a motorcycle with their dog. Because it's awesome. rad. I love it. It makes people smile. Kids are happy. <laughs> it's a no, good totally. conversation starter. <laughs> and I think especially right now in these times where, you know, you shouldn't travel like in airplanes, buses, like any crowded yeah, space. You're a little more it's very good. Yeah, motorcycling's on the up and up for sure. And uh, so this is a medium. And so this is for dogs up to 60 pounds. We also have plans to build out the small and large units. With the small unit, you could ride with two humans and then the large units up to 90 pounds. We don't recommend two riders and a dog for anything over, you know, 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is so cool. And what we also do in our live sessions is, since you're an entrepreneur yourself, oh, mm -hmm. hold on. I want to know what you just grabbed there first. <laughs> I use accessories. We're going to build accessories. This is a wheel kit. We got like mounting plates for all of your mm -hmm. gear. I, 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 I was going to try to slip it in gracefully. I didn't. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, what were you saying? What were, what were you, what so you saying? since you're an entrepreneur yourself, right, mm -hmm. you for sure have most probably things. You're like, oh, my God, I wish someone <laughs> would have told me these before. So we want to know mm -hmm. like your top, let's say, three tips, one, two, three tips for the aspiring entrepreneurs who are just watching us today. Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, okay. So... You can't do it all yourself. The way that I have succeeded the most is literally by just, as a control freak, letting go and saying, okay, you're the professional. And so there's a lot of, there's a really hard learning curve there uh, of giving direction and, and like what gets interpreted. So learning to like outsource, delegate, I think is the word. Yeah, delegate, mm -hmm. delegate hard. Uh, second, Action, action over everything. Even if you don't have a plan, just start doing something. Like I, I just fiddled, you know, I was just like, I had a milk crate and I put it on a Honda Shadow, I think. And now we're here. And then um, I would say, don't go to the next island. Like if you're, if you have a full-time job or like a nine to five and you want to do something entrepreneurial, don't just stop your nine to five to do the entrepreneurial thing. Like you have to transition progressively when it's like your side hustle or whatever can pick up the slack and pay for your day-to-day -day living and bills and all of that. Then you could say, maybe I don't need a full nine to five. Maybe I need a part-time job. And then maybe your entrepreneurial endeavors do more and more. But yeah, uh, I think those are the key three is, is those three. I mean, they're great, honestly, and I think they're like such great advice for everybody who's like, but I want to start now. But then, you know, you need to have some kind of security, at least in the yeah. beginning, right? Because you yeah, can't just like run away and then you're like, okay, now I'm broke. What am I going to do now? So I, yeah. I, just, I really, really love um, your tips. And I'm just checking the chat here. If anyone has a question from the audience, please feel free to put it in here. If not, we for sure will put all your contact details on our website. So you can find it up here in the link in bio. So you can connect with George. You can ask him all the questions. You can connect with him. Maybe you are living outside of the U.S. and you also want to, you know, you have a dock and a motorcycle and you want to use it. I'm sure um, George is more than happy to, like, connect with you and really bring this, you know, abroad, across the border. Yes. Um, George, is there anything else you would like to mention? Anything we didn't cover in our very short, I know, uh, interview here on Instagram? If not, that's totally fine, too. No, thank you for having me on. Uh, I hope that, you know, this really helps people go out and do their own thing. And, yeah, it's, it's a good time. It's a lot better than, it's not, it's a lot of work, but I love it, you know, and as Dave would say, it's not work, it's uh, activity you get paid for. And so, you know, it's pretty um, cool to get paid for just living my life with my dogs. And I hope that y'all find that for yourselves, whatever it is. Awesome. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for being on the show. Congratulations again on the J Impact Award. And we're excited to hopefully connect back with you maybe in a year, right? And then yes. see where did you take it in a year. So thank you so much again and yes. see you very soon. Thank you.